Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Jamaica Man, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And today I have a video on how to farm dailies, bro. A lot of people are starting the game. We're getting a lot of, we're getting an influx of new players, bro, and I'm loving it, bro. But you know what? With new players comes new challenges and you know what I'm saying the questions are gonna keep flowing in I'm here to answer bro and one of the biggest questions is how to farm daily so in this video I'm gonna break down you know what I'm saying what y'all need in order to do efficient farming get your rank up because I know people been playing like myself since the start of the game and you feel behind you know what I'm saying so this is gonna you know give you a smoother process you know to catch up so uh make sure y'all pay attention man and let's get right into the video all right so first order of business you want to do is go ahead and grab the battle pass not the silver one because it doesn't give as much rewards make sure you go ahead and grab the gold one uh, it gives you a lot of boost in evo coins and the card points is very nice to start out the season so you have card points and you have evo coins to start out the season and these battle pass points come in clutch because not only do you get to buy these things you get to get them out of the shop to buy with the battle pass points so when you save up these battle pass points you could go ahead and you know at the start of every season these points transfer over and you could use them to buy evo coins card points i'm not really big on the contract shards because you know i've been playing a lot of seasons and i barely have 2000 and i've only bought like one 400 rated character and i think it was your yun for my fate so it's not really big to try to save up contract shards but uh yeah let's get into the next part of the video all right next part of the video is monthly card make sure you grab that monthly card guys not only does it give you a 300 sapphire rebate on purchase but you get 150 sapphires every single day yes i'm not kidding bro you get 150 sapphires every single day this is how you save up to get those all stars i'm gonna post a video you know what i'm saying on the end screens and i'm gonna try to put a card in here so y'all could go ahead and you know what i'm saying interact with that if you are new players and you want to interact with getting all stars or the all star system and see how it works but uh yeah let's get into the next part of the video okay so you already have battle pass you have you know monthly card you know, you see how the game is going now. You you are you're farming more easier now. You want to go into your club and make sure you buy the match coin boost per day because this is how you're gonna you know what I'm saying farm as efficiently as quickly as possible and be able to you know what I'm saying multitask and find out what you need to do because you're gonna be spending less time you know playing matches and more time. You know doing research on stuff that you need in to improve and become a better player so make sure you guys go in here and you're clearing out the club shop weekly to make sure you get these points and farm efficiently and quickly so you could you know what i'm saying keep stacking up keep farming up all right so next part we have here is the ad rewards make sure you guys are watching these ads man ads give you uh sapphires and not only sapphires it gives you these uh lucky wheel points that you could use to roll for these lucky coins which are used to get tricks from the trick shop the uncrowned king and the tornado i'm not sure about these other ones because i bought them when the game came out but I'm sure about the Uncrowned King and the Tornado because I actually had to watch ads to go ahead and get these trick dunks. And they're some of the most broken dunks in the game right now. You know, uh, PF, Center, you know, these are much needed skills for each position uh, when it comes to just being able to complete, you know, dunks close range and long range so make sure y'all go ahead watch ads man not only that they have ads in here as well in the times 10 drawers and they're free you could do like four of them per day uh but 
they give those points as well and this is also part of the all-star system so make sure y'all y'all go ahead man and you watch y'all ads and uh try to save up your points and here as well you got a video buff which is uh it keeps you from losing your rank in rank the only thing it affects is i think your win rate so you won't lose points if you face off against somebody that's op uh you'll just lose you know your uh win rate so uh make sure you go ahead and watch ads man interact with the ads watching system it's going to be a system that's going to help you get all stars help you maintain and farm up sapphires and you know what i'm saying propel you to go ahead and get those tricks and whatever you need in the game Next part we have in here is called the daily pass. The daily pass was recently added. Uh, it it wasn't you know there when I was farming to level 30, and I don't really think you know it would have had any difference except for probably when the All Stars was coming out. This would have had some you know may, had some impact on my farming, but you know if you're a new player and you want to you know start getting Evo coins. You want to start, you know, buying cards and you can't really up afford to spend because I think in the shop you could get, you know, card card points out of the shops or card vouchers out of the shop. But if you want to do it efficiently, it costs like I want to say $20, $40 to buy all of this stuff, you know, and it's every week. So it's every week you can buy 20 per week. You know, if you can't afford to do that and you got the 120 diamonds, you could go ahead and invest it into this daily pass. And literally, with your farming, you're going to be able to buy card points, you know, these player silver points, these costume token packs, you know, get your charm levels up, get your evil coins up, you know, skill books as well. These elite skills just dropped and I know a lot of y'all don't have, you know what I'm saying, level 6 skills yet, so... This is going to be really big for you guys, you know, going ahead and farming and trying to catch up in the game. Alright, so I actually had to play a match for this. But as y'all can see right here, with the club boost or the the boost that you buy from the club, the weekly bonuses. As y'all can see right here, it says M card, M card, you get 90 proficiency, 888 coins. Normally, I would say you get like 400, 500 coins from completing a match, and you get like 60 proficiency, right? That's if you win, right? So, um, as you all can see right here, if you hit limit at the, you know, closeout screen at the end of the match, you can see actually your limit for the day. So, your daily coin limit is 9,500 coins. Daily proficiency limit is 900 coins, and this is for the Super Brawl game mode. If you want to play Super Brawl, I think it's on Thursdays, and you know, off days when they don't have like Street Kings and stuff, or right before Street Kings. So it's at like you know, uh, like four to six, you know, on on days where they don't have Street Kings, and I think it's on a day where they have Street Kings, but. Uh, if you want to, you know, play Super Brawl, this is your daily gear limit as well at 1800. So make sure you guys are hitting the limit at the end of the match. And you can see actually the bonuses that you're getting from applying these bonuses. So, or applying these boosts. So, here you go right here. So basic is 240. Monthly card gives you plus 360. Club bonus plus 48 double card bonus you know plus 240 and then the proficiency bonus plus 30 plus 24 plus 6 plus 30 for the double card bonus so uh all these boosts are stacking up basically off of your you know preset or pre-prepared um setup to farm efficiently efficiently so make sure you guys are going ahead and you know interacting with all these features that i'm telling you about because it's going to save you a lot of time that you could invest into you know asking questions in order to become a better player so make sure y'all keep that in mind but at the end of every match you're able to check your limits and your bonuses for the match
all right so another feature you guys have here is actually you can click on your coins and go ahead and buy coins you know there's a time 10 times 10 crit chance which is basically gives you 10,000 coins if you're really lucky and you know if you're not lucky you get a thousand but you know I've been buying for the last couple of days and I've gotten 3,000 to 5,000 I got 10,000 you know probably last week so it's a really great feature make sure you guys interact with this I wouldn't recommend it if you're saving for all stars though because you gotta stack those sapphires up but uh, yeah it's a nice feature you know part of the game all right so next and last feature this is very big because it could end up saving you a lot of coins now from time to time you're gonna see these evil badges in the shop on sale you know they normally cost 40 sapphires as you guys can see here but sometimes they put them on sale you know they're in here for like 210 you know they're in here for 1200 whenever you see them in here for you know 210 1200 you know you want to go ahead and grab it so anytime you see like 60 percent 50 percent off 90 percent off you want to go ahead and grab these evo badges because there's a quest actually in your daily quest that requires you to recycle an item per day right so recycle rational use as you can see here break these down boom and they give five evo coins so you're passively stacking up evo coins and you're completing a daily quest all for you know 1200 coins your coin limit per day is 9500 so you know you gotta just move smart like that when you're when you're doing these kinds of things and not only does it give that but refresh now it's not in here but as you can see the skill books are normally on sale for coins medium badges you don't need to buy the medium badges unless they're discounted i just do it just because i i have a couple characters that i want to get to s rank and they need medium badges so i have to buy them but these are fairly expensive at 3600 so buy them on discount but if you see the pro badges in here you know the little purple badges and they're discounted or your little character badges whatever character you guys redeem you know and they're discounted you want to go ahead and grab these discounted character badges or the discounted badges you know for upgrading your uh, players and the skill books that are discounted so if you see skill books in here for coins you know pro badges in here for coins costume tokens in here for coins you know the little green badges you want to go ahead and grab those because they're gonna help you you know finish out your quest upgrade your character and upgrade your charm level I wouldn't buy it for the 20 because it's literally in here for 20 uh, if you guys see here 20 diamonds but uh, yeah really efficient feature to use in the game the mystic shop all right so now that you finish basically you know what i'm saying you want to make sure you, you sign in for the day um this is an event don't interact with that but the daily special it gives out 100 coins for free every day you know it's not a lot of coins but if you play the game you know and you know you, you just log in every day and you claim 100 100 100 you know over the year it's gonna add up so make sure you guys go ahead and claim this free hundred coins and then um when you're finished with all your ads and stuff you could go in here and you know spin for lucky points they give the lucky coins and go ahead and spend your ad tokens um you could actually win the ad tokens back and costume tokens so it's a really good way you know in order to get your resources stocked up and they normally have the wish wishing well or wish list where you could get 200 sapphires or a free 300 rated player i normally go for the sapphires in this one uh every time so uh make sure you guys are taking advantage of this you literally play the game and as you finish you know activity quests or finish your daily quest and you claim them you could come back here and you know get all these rewards so you know it's a good way to save up evo coins pro skill books and get 200 sapphires just by diligently playing the game but uh yeah that's going to do that do it for the video hopefully you guys you know enjoyed you know i want all you new players you know what i'm saying to have fun on the game y'all gotta remember bruh it's just a video game it's no place for rage all of that stuff like that i'm currently in the process you know of working on my own rage but 
a couple months ago it was it was very bad on basket trio you know until i got you know into the right people's company shout outs to selfie and beep and all the other people you know what i'm saying that support me over the time that i've been playing this game but uh make sure you guys you know what i'm saying go ahead and grab a couple friends join a good club my club is almost full, but I got a, a spot here. So if y'all want to join, you can join. Club ID is 10713. Um, but uh, yeah. Positive vibes only. You know what I'm saying? More content on the way. More Jamaica on the way. Keep being amazing. I'm up out of here, man. Peace.